I'm back again. This time we're playing Domination on Interchange. And the last commentary I talked about uh, specialist loadouts on Team Defender. And what I'm kind of trying to do here with these videos is basically show you different play styles uh, in, different, in a variety of different game modes. And uh, this time around I really... I just wanted to try this out is the pure stealth mode ninja uh, that everybody was of course talking about including me up until the game's release and uh, I noticed nobody's really talking about it now because it is in fact not overpowered it's nothing like you know the ghost from black ops it, it is uh it's interesting to play like this the blind eye assassin loadout I don't have dead silence unlocked uh, but sit rep is just as good if not better and basically, what I've learned, I played, oh, probably 10 or so games like this. I was working towards Blind Eye Pro, and this was probably the best scoring game, not the best, uh, K high, not the highest KD game. But from what I have did, it's, it's much, much easier to not get killed, of course, staying off the radar and staying off the kill streaks. But what it does is essentially brings it down to the level of it's just you and your gun. No perks to enhance your gun other than the attachments and proficiencies. And what that means is you have to play in a way which is of pure stealth, which is the way I normally like to play. I played a lot of Modern Warfare 2 with Cold Blooded. So I was, you know, one of the original guys being a pain in the ass by staying off the radar. And then Black Ops came about and I didn't really want to talk about that hardly because, you know, the... The saturation of ghosts, it was just a, that was more of a development flaw, but this way, you know, you can play the way you want to play, and by playing with pure stealth, I see nothing wrong with it, I, I really don't, because it's not overpowered, uh, because you have to trade in a lot of uh, good choice perks just to stay completely silent and ghostly, so it's, uh, it's apples to oranges, really, um, but this loadout is pretty solid, I would say. See, I work towards my AC-130 here, and I'm just kind of hanging around by these guys, pissing them off. And they don't really know what to do with me. Uh, there's a good knife for once, and I, I kind of want to get C here because we only have one flag. So I'm basically being a pain in their ass, and that's uh, that's the main role of a stealthy guy. Sneak around, just just kind of uh, you know chip away at at the enemy team, and then cap flags when they least want you to but uh, you could run this any way you wanted with your strike package loadout you could do uh, you could do support no problem with this I'm doing assault just because when you're going in super sneaky mode uh, I'm going for kills I'm going to annoy them I'm not gonna play the super sneaky role to be a team player because those two things kind of uh, interfere with each other so the idea here is just to get those kill streaks and to kill a lot of people with my gun too. And the thing is, without the ability to have those perks like sleight of hand, quick draw, etc., you have to choose your gunfights. You have to know when not to engage them, when to uh, when to defend yourself and hold your ground. It, and and really, you have to uh, choose your map positioning. It's important. It is a little bit more camp happy, I'll admit. I, I can't really stand watching it like this. But it is, it is a nice break from trying to run and gun. Because one thing I haven't talked about yet. Oh, and this AC-130, I'm, I'm uh, going super fast mode on it. So I don't know what it's going to look like in the actual video when it renders. But uh, basically, what was I saying? Choosing your gunfights and uh, oh connection. See, I I do like to rush. I like all pl I like playing in all different styles, but the rushing game is just it's so much harder due to the connections in this. Uh, some of you probably already know this, but I have really I have a really really slow internet, so just trying to rush is it's hard for me. It's very hard. So it's kind of nice to take a break from this and do a little kill horn, and uh, just being a being a straight up bitch, I'd say. But the the connection thing I noticed is, uh, and I just read this recently. I guess they installed some sort of sort of like a 
I don't know what you call it, but it basically creates slight leg for everybody in the lobby, so the connections are more balanced and everything's fair, which is a good idea in theory, but or on paper. But when you start applying it, and for people like me who have bad connections already, you don't want to make those people lag more. Uh, I think there's probably a uh, an alternative way they could uh, fix it or do it. Uh, but the connections, it is pretty connection based in this game, obviously. Now, I still don't I don't know, uh, take this with a grain of salt, but I don't think it feels like it's as connection based as Black Ops was. Black Ops had a whole variety of connection problems. But, uh, I think this M4 silence, uh, that's another thing. When you're running this loadout, you don't have tons of ammo without, like, scavenger or anything like that. So, every gun you pick up, make sure it has a silencer. Make sure you're using a silencer. I'm using the, the Nub Heartbeat Sensor. And I don't really know what I think of the heartbeat sensor. The idea is to just create more awareness for you. There was a mistake death right there. I just rushed in like an idiot. I'm just bum rushing. I'm trying to defend C. <coughs> but I don't know. The heartbeat sensor, it's just another tool. I know it makes a lot of people mad. But with Assassin in there, you can have a lot of people staying off of the heartbeat sensor. So it's really not that useful. Um, I was just trying it out, and I actually don't mind it. I don't think it's super terrible because it, the the little motions it makes take so long. It's longer than like a UAV sweep, actually. Um, what else to say? I'm really liking this CM901. Is that what it's called? This gun is solid. It it reminds me of the Scar H from Modern Warfare 2. It's got a really slow rate of fire, but damn, does it do some damage. Uh, the Scar L is kind of I, I really like the Scar L. It feels like almost uh, a combination of the Scar H for Modern Warfare 2 and the ACR because it does lower damage. It, the Scar H is a great gun too. But I've been using a lot of this gun. I prestiged and I unlocked the the FAD right away because that's not unlocked till 78. So I wanted to just use it a lot and have it permanently unlocked. So I decided to use my token that way. I'm just going to keep prestiging on the Xbox because that's mainly where I'm going to be playing and when I get this for PS3 eventually I'll probably just go to level 50 you know and play with friends on there occasionally uh, but I, I might as well prestige on here I've always been kind of a non prestiger but there's really no reason to not prestige for me anymore because it's all in fun and one thing I do want to talk about quick is prestiging in the Infinity Ward Modern Warfare games for me since uh, my first Call of Duty really was Modern Warfare 2 uh, prestiging really does improve me. It it really does make me a better player. Uh, prestiging in Black Ops did not do anything for me. It it basically just made me mad. Uh, but prestiging in this game, these games are different for some reason to me. I, I don't know why. It just seems like every prestige I'm kind of refreshed and I start playing better. If I don't prestige, it feels like I, I get stale and stagnant. And probably by the time if I ever get to 10th prestige, I'll be... You know, I'll probably have played enough of this game, so I wouldn't be playing as much anyways. But, um, what else to say about the stealth roll? Um, uh, you know, I suggest giving it a try. It's also kind of a bullshit, this class setup is kind of a bullshit free way of the game. Because uh, you have the sit rep. Sit rep pro would be really useful on this. I'm going to work towards that. And you just basically get to stay off the annoying radar. Uh, let the get off the get the stupid kill streaks off you. I'm not sure how the recon drones affect you with this. I'm pretty sure you can still get tagged. I, I don't know that for sure. I still don't really understand recon totally. Like uh, dead silence reduce the effects of recon. Does that include? Is that just recon the perk or is it the recon drone? It's confusing to me. It it kind of I don't know. Maybe some of you guys would know the answers to that. Like. Uh, the recon drone because it tags you, and it can tag you even with it can tag you regardless of what you have, but it just doesn't last as long if you have dead silence or, or I don't know. Um, anyways, for the next gameplay, I I've been trying tinkering around with the shotgun and snipers, and uh, I'm struggling to say the least. I suck, and I'll probably try to bring you one of those, one of those types of gameplay, if not that. Um, maybe something else like a light machine gun. I'm just trying to show 
a variety of playing styles because I'm really having fun like this. And uh, I think it'll, it'll help everybody with the game, uh, you know, to help you improve. Not a lot of commentators even talk about it anymore, how to get better or improve. So I kind of, I'm kind of going old school retro with this. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, maybe I'll do like some live commentary. I could do like a live commentary on uh, survival mode too sometime. I don't know. Stay tuned for more gameplays. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Like it if you like it. Hate it if you hate it. And I'll see you guys later.